Okay, so I'm just going to go over the basics of matri matrices um, before we attempt those questions. Um, so, if I have two matri matri matrices like this, um, and if I wanted to add them together, basically, so if I just write it out like this, okay, I would just literally add the corresponding numbers. So I would do one plus two gives me three, two plus one gives me three, one plus two gives me three, two plus one gives me three. Okay, it'll be as simple as that. What about a minus b? Okay, if I write this down again. So, 1 minus 2 is minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay? And it works the same for a 3 by 3 matrix as well. Okay, the same principle. What happens if I have... Uh, have to multiply it by a number. So a is this. I just and it's times by three. Well, basically I times three to each number. So it becomes three, six, three, six. And that's my answer. Okay, same thing for b. Two times b, two, one, two, one. So it becomes two times two, four. Two times one, two, and so on. Okay. Now, this is the hard bit now, or I shouldn't say hard bit, but just more work to do. Now it says A multiplied by B, so I need to do A on this, the first, as the first one on the bottom, then this is B, I put it on the top, and there's a reason why I, I'm placing the, the, the matrices like this. Because, watch the rule now, so I need to do 2 times 1 plus 2 times 2. So it's 1 plus 4 gives me 5 in this bit top left. Now, 1 plus 1 is 1, plus 1 times 2 is 3. So 3 plus 1 is 4. Then 2 times 1 is 2, plus 2 times 2 is 4. So 4 plus 1 is 5. 1, plus one times 1 is 1, uh, plus 1 times 2 is 3. So 3 plus 1 is 4. So actually, my final matrix is what I have in the num in the, in the middle. It's that. Okay. So again, pause the video just to make sure um, you've got that. So what about if we do b times a? So this time, instead of putting this on the top, I'm going to have it at the bottom. So I do two, one, one, like that. One, one, two, two, like that. Okay. So. Again, same principle, 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 times 1 is 1, so that's 3 plus 1, that's 4. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 2 times 1 is 2, so that's 4 plus 2, that's 6. 1 times 2 is 1, plus 1 times 1 is 1, so that's 3 plus 1, that's 4. And again, I have the same here, so it's 6, so that is 4, 4, 6, 6, okay? So, notice the order in which you multiply matrices uh, does matter a lot, because as you can see, you get different values, okay? Matrices, okay, so you've seen these. These are column vectors, okay? That's a row vector, um, but now this is a two by two matrix, okay? Matrices is the plural of matrix, okay? Anyway, let's have a look at the first question. It says, which one of the following matrix calculations is possible? So, first one, A plus B. Well, no, that's not possible because, if you look at this, um, the rule for matri matrices is basically um, you need to have, especially if you're adding or subtracting, you need to have um, a column vector, so a one like that and another one like that, adding together um, or minusing them together. So this is not possible. Um, a, sorry, the next one, it says A dot c or a multiplied uh, by c so this one is possible um, because basically how this works is you need, would need to do 1 times minus 3 plus 2 times 4 okay and then you would put your answer there okay um, and that's the answer uh, that's uh, okay let me do that right now so I answer that question so minus 3 plus 8 is 5 Okay, so the answer is 5. 
Um, what else? It says, is B, C possible? Well, B is that, C is that, no, because if you think about it, look, um, minus 2 times what plus minus 3 times minus 3, okay? So basically, you, in order for this to work, you need either two numbers here and two numbers here. So you need two in a row and then two are coming down in a column, okay? Two coming down in a column, two in a row, okay? So a two by two times a two by two will work. However, this is not possible, okay? So the only one that can work is this one, A times B. So we've done B, find C, the inverse of C minus one, okay? So, C is this. Do this for you, so I just write it up again. So, C is equal to minus two, minus three, five, and six, okay? Now, in order to find the inverse, I need to first find the determinant, okay? So the determinant is this, and how does it work? It's gonna be minus two times six, so the diagonal here minus the diagonal here. So I do minus two times six minus five times minus three, okay? Okay, so this is minus 12 minus, minus, minus 15, so this becomes minus 12 plus 15, okay, which is equal to three. Okay, so we've now got the determinant. Um, what am I going to do next? Right, so with the original matrix, which was this, I now need to, and this, where, this is where it gets really, really weird, um, I need to flip um, these two numbers. Okay, so I'm just going to flip that so it becomes six and minus two, then I need to times minus one to that number and that number, so it becomes minus five and three. Then, lastly, I now need to divide each one of these terms by the determinant, which was three. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna divide this uh, all times by a third, so it becomes six over two minus five over three, three, sorry, I'm doing six over three, three over three minus two over three. And that simplifies to two minus five over three, one minus two over three, okay? And that is the inverse. So this is the inverse. C minus one, that's the inverse, okay? So again, pause the video just to check uh, what I've done and, and to, to remember these rules. So first thing, find the determinant, which was this diagonal minus that diagonal. Um, then with the original matrix, switch these two numbers or those two numbers, then you need to times minus one to those two. Okay. Right, next question it says, solve for X and Y if this matrix times that matrix equals x and y. Right, so let's, let's do this. So I need to do three minus one, two, six, okay? So I need to do three minus one, two, six is the first matrix um, multiplied by the second matrix, three and a two, okay? Always remember this rule. Whenever it asks you to multiply two mat matrices together, the first one always goes on the bottom and the second one always goes on the top, okay? So let's do, and then how do we multiply them? Okay, let's do this together. So minus three times three is minus nine, plus two times two is four. So minus um, nine plus four will give us minus five, okay? Next one, minus three times minus one is three, plus two times six is 12, 12 plus 3 is 15. So that translates to the column vector minus 5 and 12. So if you think about it, this was our x and that was our y. And that's the answer. Next question says find the inverse of this matrix 2, 4, minus 1, and 3. Okay, 
So let's practice finding the inverse. So first thing is first things first, we need to find the determinant. I'm just going to call this matrix C. Okay. So the inverse of matrix C is going to be this diagonal, 2 times 3 minus this diagonal, minus, minus 1 times 4, 6 minus minus 4 is 6 plus 4, it's 10. So the determinant is 10. Then, the next thing I have to do is I have to flip these numbers around so the 2 becomes 3, the 3 becomes 2 and I need to times this by minus 1 times that by minus 1, okay? Don't worry, the more you do of these questions, the more familiar you'll get with this rule. So, it becomes 3, 2, 1, minus 4. Now, I need to divide each of these numbers by 10, okay? So, it becomes 3 over 10, 1 over 10, minus 4 over 10, 2 over 10. Okay? I mean, that can only simplify to minus 2 over 5 and 1 over 5. Okay? And that is your answer. Right. Lastly, it says solve for t and u, so I need to find t and u, okay, for this matrix, 3t, u, minus t, 3u, multiplied by the column vector 1, 2, is equal to 10 minus 10, okay? So again, just put this down there. Okay, I'm going to do this in my head. So I'm going to, we're going to come up with two simultaneous equations. So basically, 1 times 3t, 3t so uh, times 1 plus 2 times plus 2u is equal to 10 and minus t, because 1 times minus t is minus t. And then 3u times 2 plus 3u times 2 is 6u is equal to minus 10. Okay? So, we come up with two simultaneous equations. I'm actually, um, yeah, so I'm actually going to divide by minus 1 uh, on this equation uh, just to, to get, get me t, a positive t, so it becomes minus 6u is equal to 10. Uh, then t is equal to 10 plus 6u. Now I'm going to substitute this uh, into that t there. So it becomes uh, 3 10 plus 6 u plus 2 u is equal to 10. Okay. Now um, that's 30 plus. 18u plus 2u equals 10, um, so that becomes 20u is equal to minus 20, giving me u is minus 20, 20, it's minus 1. Then I just need to substitute this minus 1 into, let's say this one, okay, this equation here, so my t is equal to 10 plus 6 times minus 1, that's 10 minus 6, which is 4. So, therefore, u is minus 1, and t is 4. Okay? And that's the end of this lesson.